So I'm finally getting around to doing this tired mommy um, look that I've been trying to for quite some time. But one kid sleeping and the other kid's with my husband. So let's see how this goes. So what I'm doing right now is just um, brushing the hairs with a spoolie into place before I can put uh, any product on them. And what I'm using here is this Jordana chocolate brown pencil and I really like this pencil because I can sharpen it and then um, it's very inexpensive um, so yeah that's the reason I like it and it just is easy for me to use what I'm doing over here is marking three points on the brow that I need to hit to make the brow look complete so that's what I'm doing over there and what I do is I outline both of them before I fill them in so and then that way they can look like kind of sort of sisters maybe stepsisters in this case as you can see but again this is um, a look I'm putting together just for myself when I'm at home with the kids um, since I'm home with the kids right now um, and I'm not trying to look fancy or anything like that and so now after I've drawn them out I fill them in very slightly not too heavy because then it just looks a bit awkward uh, but you know it's a personal preference thing so do them however you like this is just me showing you what I do to mine so I take the spoolie back again and I just fill the front part of the brows in um, a little bit so that they're a little bit lighter than the rest of the brow. Um, so yeah, I do that to both of them and then I move along. The next step is I apply the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And the shade that I'm using over here is Amand. It looks like I used a lot, but I didn't. I just used a little bit, but in any event. So I outline the brow just to make it look neat and tidy. Um, but what I do is that I apply this underneath and then I bring it down a little bit because I use this also as a base for my... Um, Oh dear, I'm drawing a blank. What is the product that you apply? <laughs> I can't, I can't think of it. I slept two, two hours last night, so please, no judging, okay? Remove the coat and put down the gavel. Um, so then what I do is that I apply my foundation top of the brow um, because I find that it's just a much better look for me. It's not as harsh. As you can tell, I am perfectly chocolate, so... Oh no, my son's up. Oh dear. Um, I'm perfectly chocolate, so I just need to stay with the chocolate shades, and that way I don't look too ashy or too grey. So that look works for me. Um, moving right along, this is the Benefit Professional that I apply all over the face. Um, and I really like this product because it's not too harsh, and it just it does the job so well. And I really enjoy using it. So I apply that all over the face and the foundation that I use is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation and the shade is N9. Does that make sense, N9? And I use a beauty blender. Now let me tell you, this beauty blender is life. I don't like that saying but I'm going to use it here because it is. Look how flawlessly it's applying um, to the face. Look, just look. It's beautiful. Um, it's even and it just um, adheres to the skin or oh, it lets the products adhere to the skin so nicely and I really really enjoy using it so yes it is life um, so I apply this all over the face and this foundation is just going to be my staple from now on because I've been trying other foundations and they just don't work for me they don't they're not as close to my shade as that as this one is so this is my go-to moving right along I apply powder Oh, the Sephora brush, the pink brush that I'm using is so pretty. Um, I just applied the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Again, I told you I am perfectly chocolate. So this is just the right shade for me. I apply that all over the face to put um, to make sure that the foundation stays in place and does not move. And then, um, this me showing you the brush. And then I apply the NARS Radiant Creamy um, Concealer in Amand. In a triangle right below my eye and then I use the beauty blender again just to uh, put it in place just like so so it stays nice and pretty and I like this because it's not it's just a shade lighter um, than me right now it looks a lot brighter but it's not it's just because of the natural light 
I live in Florida. It's always bright and it's always hot outside. So <laughs> what can I tell you? In any event, so I applied that and then I'm going to lock it in with a powder, the Ben Nye Topaz powder. Um, that works really well for me. And again, I'm going to use the same beauty blender because it just works for me. I found that using a brush just dries me out um, and makes me look cakey. So I don't do that, but I do do this. I use the um, beauty blender. Um, and this is just a really nice, soft and subtle look for me. And that's the look that I prefer. Um, even when I'm going out, maybe I'll add like more um, lipstick or something else but anyway that shade that I'm showing you is called goddess and the um, the pro is called ruby kisses they're okay I found some product um, that they carry that I like and this is one of them so um, what is it Genesis does it goddess no it's Genesis that's what it is that's the color of that shade um, and I apply that all over the lid again something subtle I'm, I'm at home with the kids I'm not going anywhere you know um, and then I apply a, a small winged liner. I'm using the LA Colors Black Liquid Eyeliner and I just do that to the corner of both eyes and just makes me nice and awake. So I do that to both eyes. Now I'm going to just jump ahead as I'm, I'm going along here. Uh, mascara. I've been on the hunt for a good mascara for quite some time. Um, one that I've, I think I've landed on is a YSL. I have actually, um, what is this called? My goodness, basic words are escaping me. A sample. A sample that I have that I'm using, you'll see it in a little bit over here. And I love the way that it opens slowly and the product doesn't just gush out at you and then that's the one. Um, doesn't gush out and then just sort of like sits on your lashes. So that's the one that I'm going to take. Um, I'm going to take that sample to Sephora and see if I can find that because I really enjoy using that. And, oh dear, yes. Anyway, that's me applying mascara. <laughs> I'm trying to work and I can't. Um, in any event, so I'm just going to move along really quickly because I need to. Anyway, um, and then the blush that I'm going to be using is an NYX blush. And the shade is Double Dare. It's so pretty. It's an orangish, peachish shade, I think. Um, use that on my cheeks and then I use a Sonia Kashuk um, bronzer but I use that as a highlighter so because again I'm perfectly chocolate and I can do that there we go um, so anyway this is just a routine that I do for myself when I'm at home not going anywhere just to make sure that I look human and I look sane and I'm not just stuck wearing the same clothes 24 7 in any event I'm gonna stop chit chatting and the video is going to end in any moment now. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I will be back to doing a couple more videos. I'm actually going to start doing a bit more vlogs in it anyway. Since I'm at home with the kids, I may as well just document all of that. Thank you and goodbye.